Nigerian students had 60,923 dependents in 2022 and the UK government continues to consider limiting the number of dependent visas students can bring in into the UK as the number of dependent visa in 2023 increased by almost 30 percent. This is the highest um, number of dependent visa the UK government has ever experienced and this has led to the government trying to reduce the number of dependent visa and this is some of the things that you should expect in the um, next a review of the immigration policy in the UK which is probably going to happen in April and these are some of the things that every international student prospective international student should be aware of and I'll be sharing with you guys full details on this in this video so guys if you haven't clicked on the like button just click on the like button before you continue watching because trust me it's going to be a resourceful and insightful video and if you're coming across my channel for the first time click on the red subscribe button to join the amazing growing family the number of students bringing in family members into the UK on a student visa increased by almost 30% in 2022, putting Nigeria as the number one country with students bringing the largest number of um, dependents into the UK, uh, with India being the second, they've got uh, Bangladesh and you know and many other countries. Now, Basically, uh, I made a particular video a couple of weeks or months ago as regards the, you know, uh, contemplation of reducing the number of dependent visa because of the fact that the UK government believes many dependents are doing majorly unskilled job and they are not really adding to the economy and you know, there was like a back and forth and, you know, a lot of debates in the parliament as regards this information. And, you know, just of recent also, there's also an update on the fact that the government is still planning or is still making an attempt to reducing the number of dependents um, anyone on student visa can bring into the United Kingdom. British newspaper The Times reported that foreign students could be barred from bringing their spouses and children to the UK unless they study high-value degrees as the government continues to debate policy changes now the fact that this particular um you know um, update or change is still being debated uh it shows that there's high possibility of them implementing this they might not implement it directly as banning um, students from bringing in their dependents however they'll put like loads of restrictions and this will definitely influence students choice of study the kind of course you study and all of those stuff now according to the newspaper students will only be able to bring family members if they are studying courses that ministers consider to be of high value to the economy such as science maths and engineering now for me i really do understand how the course of the primary applicant should influence um, the ability to be able to bring in their family into the uk now the uh, the uh, suggestion or should i say the opinion raised in the past was because of the fact that they felt um, dependents are doing majorly unskilled job and they're not adding to the economy which i for my own case or in my in my personal opinion that's not true because many of the uh, dependents coming to the uk have a limited number of hours to work so it's easier for them to be able to integrate into the uh, economy is uh, quicker compared to the student who is restricted to work 20 hours however the debate now is that if your partner or if the student the primary applicant is not studying courses in mathematics engineering or in sciences then the uh, the ability or the possibility of being able to bring in their dependents will be challenged now currently students who are studying postgraduate level can bring family members no matter the course they are enrolled in so if you're planning to now move into the uk with a dependent so for those who are planning to move into the uk let's say in september this year or january next year you need to be strategic about the course you're studying because when this policy come into play then it might affect especially if you're not coming as a single person you're planning to move into the uk with your family then you need to consider the course you will be studying in the united kingdom now, a spokesperson from the Home Office declined to confirm the reports, um, telling the news that all immigration policies are under constant review to ensure they uh, best serve the 
country and reflect the public's priorities so of course they're not going to come out and tell you oh we're going to do this that because they still need to go through a lot of debates on the you know changes in policy however the fact that this information keeps coming up keep you know um, you know staying at the limelight of the news is to show the possibility of this happening so for international students who are planning to come into the UK very soon please guys be, be sensitive or be, be very you know strategic about the course you're studying go on the UK government website check out courses that are of high demand those courses that are part of the um, you know um, shortage occupations in the UK and apply for them and as I've always told people don't study a course because it's part of the social occupation alone and sure that is something you have interest in so just check out some of the courses available on uh, some of the uh, professions on the UK government website that are of you know high demand in the UK and look for the ones that you have interest in so it's not about choosing the one in shortage occupation list it must also be the one that you have interest in so you don't struggle with you know academics here in the UK while trying to also fend for your family now, um, according to the spokesperson, he said that our point-based system is designed to be flexible according to the UK's need, including attracting top-class talents from across the country to contribute to the UK's excellent academic reputation and to help keep our universities competitive on the world stage. Now, basically, this is uh, one of the reasons why um, the UK government allowed international students to move into the UK, basically to you know uh, impact them and also yeah, in return um, add to the government or to the country's economy. Now, last year, 22%, which is about 135,788 of all study-related visa were granted to dependents of students, compared to 6%, which is 16,000 and 47 in 2019 so from 2019 to 2022 they had almost 20 percent increase in the number of dependent visa issued to people on the student visa now in its data release the home office wrote this may reflect a change in the compositions of students coming to the uk such as a greater number of older students so because of the fact that the government is trying to you know um make their universities competitive they need young people smart vibrant people people who could you know um bring up competitive advantage people who could bring uh, their intellectual capacity into play in the uk um universities however from this statistic is showing them that most people coming to the uk are actually older people with family members so the idea of you know um them allowing international students to come into the uk how is it going to play out how will these people be able to bring back into the economy and you know get a skilled job upon completion of the program so there are so many questions that the government is asking and you know some of the things that is actually influencing that decision towards reducing the number of dependents or stopping the number of dependents that students can bring into the uk nigerian students had the highest number of dependents in 2022 increasing to 30 60,923 from 1,586 in 2019, while Indian nationals at the second highest at 38,990, um, there were almost 120,000 dependent visa granted to the top five nationals Nigeria, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, um, Sri Lanka in 2022. Jeff Williams, CEO and co founder of Student Onboarding Platform, um, um, Enguli previously told the news that this rise was to be expected given the increasing popularity of postgraduate courses in the United Kingdom. While the international education sector had previously spoken out against limiting dependent visas, some have expressed concern around supporting students with family members when it comes to finding housing and schools. And these are some of the things that have been discussed as regards the UK visa dependent um, the uk dependent visa in the uk so guys if you're currently on the student visa share your opinion with us in the comment section and you know 
for those that are currently in the UK with their family, share your struggles. How has it been trying to get an accommodation? How has it been, you know, uh, been able to raise funds to meet up with your uh, recurring bills and also your outstanding bills? You know, just share with us your uh, feelings in the comment section. I'll be responding to everyone in the comment section. So, guys, the question is, will the UK government be banning or reducing the number of dependent visa uh, students can apply for please share your thoughts in the comment section and if you have find this video it's also click on the like button if you're coming across my channel for the first time click on the red subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and for my 20 subscribers thank you guys for the love thank you for being here i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video and i will definitely see you guys in the next video thank you